he wrote Autumn Journal in a burst of creative vigour in 1938. It's 24 cantos of sustained and driven poetry. And to celebrate the 60th anniversary of its publication, the English Society at Queen's University Belfast arranged a reading of the verse journal by poets, novelists and actors. Here, in Brendan Burns' film, we hear cantos 16 and 24. Nightmare leaves fatigue, we envy men of action who sleep and wake, murder and intrigue without being doubtful, without being haunted, and I envy the intransigence of my own countrymen who shoot to kill and never see the victim's face become their own or find his motive sabotage, their motives. So, reading the memoirs of Maud Gunn, daughter of an English mother and a soldier father. I note how a single purpose can be founded on a jumble of opposites. Dublin Castle, the Vice Regal Ball, the embassies of Europe, hatred scribbled on a wall, jails and revolvers. And I remember when I was little, the fear bandied among the servants that casement would land at the pier with a sword and a horde of rebels and how we used to expect at a later date when the wind blew from the west the noise of shooting starting in the evening at eight in belfast in the york street district and the voodoo of the orange bands drawing an iron net through darkest ulster flailing the limbo lands, the linen mills, the long wet grass, the ragged hawthorn. And one red black with the other red white, his hope the other man's damnation. Up the rebels to hell with the Pope, and God save as you prefer the King or Ireland. Land of scholars and saints, Scholars and saints, my eye, the land of ambush, purblind manifestos, never-ending complaints, the born martyr and the gallant ninny, the grocer drunk with the drum, the landowner shot in his bed, the angry voices piercing the broken fanlight in the slum, the shawled woman weeping at a garish altar, Kathleen Ni Hulahan. Why must a country like a ship or a car be always female, mother or sweetheart, a woman passing by? Passing like a patch of sun on the rainy hill, and yet we love her forever and hate our neighbour, and each one in his will binds his heirs to continuance of hatred. Drums on the haycock, Drums on the harvest, black drums in the night, shaking the windows. King William is riding his white horse back to the Boyne on a banner. Thousands of banners, thousands of white horses, thousands of Williams waving thousands of swords and ready to fight till the blue sea turns to orange. Such was my country. And I thought I was well out of it, educated and domiciled in England. Though yet her name keeps ringing like a bell in an underwater belfry. And the north where I was a boy is still the north, veneered with the grime of Glasgow. Thousands of men whom nobody will employ, standing at the corners coughing. And the street children play on the wet pavement, hopscotch or marbles and each rich family boasts a sagging tennis net on a spongy lawn beside a dripping shrubbery. The smoking chimneys hint at prosperity round the corner, but they make their Ulster linen from foreign lint, and the money that comes in goes out to make more money. A city built upon mud, a culture built upon profit, free speech nipped in the bud, the minority always guilty. Why should I want to go back? to you, Ireland, my Ireland. The blots on the page are so black 
that they cannot be covered with shamrock. I hate your grandiose airs, your sob stuff, your laugh and your swagger, your assumption that everyone cares who is the king of your castle. Castles are out of date. The tide flows round the children's sandy fancy. Put up what flag you like, it is too late to save your soul with bunting. Odi atque amo. Shall we cut this name on trees with a rusty dagger? Her mountains are still blue. Her rivers flow bubbling over the boulders. She is both a boar and a bitch. Better close the horizon. Send her no more fantasy. No more longings which are under a fatal tariff. For common sense is the vogue and she gives her children neither sense nor money, who slouch around the world with a gesture and a brogue and a faggot of useless memories. Sleep my body, sleep my ghost, sleep my parents and grandparents and all those I have loved most. One man's coffin is another's cradle, Sleep my past and all my sins in distant snow or dried roses under the moon, for night's cocoon will open when day begins. Sleep my fathers in your graves on upland bogland under heather. What the wind scatters, the wind saves. A sapling springs in a new country. Time is a country. The present moment, a spotlight roving round the scene. We need not chase the spotlight. The future is the bride of what has been. Sleep my fancies and my wishes. Sleep a little and wake strong. The same but different. And take my blessing, a cradle song. And sleep my various and conflicting selves I have so long endured. Sleep in Asclepius's temple and wake cured. And you with whom I shared an idyll five years long sleep beyond the Atlantic, and wake to a glitter of dew and to birdsong. And you whose minutes patter to crowd the social hours, curl up easy in a placid corner and let your thoughts close in like flowers. And you who work for Christ, and you as eager for a better life, humanist, atheist, and you devoted to a cause, and you to a family, Sleep, and may your beliefs and zeal persist. While we sleep, what shall we dream? Of Tiernan Oak or South Sea Islands? Of a land where all the milk is cream and all the girls are willing? Or shall our dream be earnest of the real future when we wake? Design a home, a factory, a fortress, which though with effort we can really make. What is it we want really? For what end and how? If it is something feasible, obtainable. Let us dream it now and pray for a possible land, not of sleepwalkers, not of angry puppets, but where both heart and brain can understand the movements of our fellows, where life is a choice of instruments and none is debarred his natural music, where the waters of life are free of the ice blockade of hunger and thought is free as the sun. So sleep in hope of this, but only for a little, your hope must wake while the choice is yours to make. The mortgage not foreclosed, the offer open. Sleep serene, avoid the backward glance. Go forward, dreams, and do not halt. Behind you in the desert stands a token of doubt, a pillar of salt. Sleep the past and wake the future and walk out promptly through the open door. But you, my coward doubts, may go on sleeping. You need not wake again, not anymore. The new year comes with bombs. It is too late to dose the dead with honorable intentions. If you have honor to spare, employ it on the living. The dead are dead is 1938. Tonight we sleep on the banks of Rubicon. The die is cast. There will be time to audit the accounts later there will be sunlight later. 
and the equation will come out at last. Tony, it still holds up, doesn't it? It certainly does. I mean, I think it's, it's still so alive because um, not only